Hello, my name is Glenn Dyer, and you are watching a Dyer Situation. Today I'm seeing The Man from Uncle. It's uh, another spy film. There's a lot of spy movies coming out recently. It's a weird phenomena. But uh, anyway, uh, this one's looking pretty decent. It's basically a Russia USA team up movie. Yeah, no. Should be fun. It's prob I'm hoping it doesn't go down the buddy cop movie route, but eh, who knows. Um, this, uh, not too much to say. I hope it's as good as Kingsman. Kingsman was a surprise hit, of course. Uh, can't expect that from everything, though. So, let's see. <sighs> okay, um, <sighs> yeah, maybe it was a mistake comparing this to Kingsman. Whereas Kingsman was a a decent homage to 1960s spy movies, and it clearly loved them. This movie felt like a childish imitation. It's kind of like the opposite side of that coin, where you have the sincere one that knows what they're doing and wants to make something kind of like it, and then you have s somebody who's like, I can do that! And, and that's this, that's the man from Uncle. And, uh... Yeah, this is really really oddly directed, um, terribly choreographed. I mean, they do shaky cam fight scenes throughout the whole thing, suggesting to me that they don't have very good fight choreography going down, as I have come to come to learn from these things. Uh, and just generally didn't feel good, if you know what I mean. Uh, how do I describe it? And basically, it, it as I said, it just felt childish. The music in it was was like, doo -doo 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 and you know, just like almost a parody, but not funny. Uh, it was, you know, there's quips and stuff like there are in the 1960s movies, but not like full on Spy Hard or Austin Powers or or you know, help. Even spy, <laughs> not even those levels of parody. It's just a parody, but not intending to be. Uh, yeah, very not very well thought out in that department. Uh, kind of confusing at times, just from the way it's edited. Uh, cer certain plot points just kind of go over your head. Others that. Uh, other things that you didn't really need to know are just, are um, are just like shoved into your face. Like it didn't get the right balance here. Uh, and yeah, kind of disappointing. I have to say, maybe, maybe if the Kingsman hadn't been a thing and this came out on its own, and I'm not accusing this of copying the Kingsman. The Kingsman was like a couple months ago. That's impossible. But, um, maybe it would have fared better with me, but <laughs> doubtful. Not not by much, if any, I can assure you. Uh, yeah, not going to recommend this, I'm afraid. Uh, decent performances in it. There was a half-hearted attempt at a twist partway through. Um, you know, bless them for trying. Uh, several moments trying to be kind of artsy, or, uh, or maybe just like uh, absurdist com comedy, I guess. Kind of like um, Kingsman, honestly, but you know, not pulled off as well. But yeah, it just felt like everything was everything was put into its place slightly wrong. If that makes any sense, like I don't know if. Uh, Say like uh what what would the term be uh a good analogy here say I don't know you have a you have a a cl uh, a closet of coats organized by color and you put one in the wrong place and then you put one next to it thinking that that's the place it's supposed to be until eventually it just becomes a whole jumbled mess like that like one thing seemed to offset everything else if that makes any sense maybe there's a better analogy but yeah 
sad to say, not gonna be on my my favorites uh, list, but uh, not terrible, somewhat enjoyable. Just uh, just it, that, there's better. Go watch Kingsman if you want to see this. Just go see Kingsman; it's way better. And until next time, I'm Glenn Dyer, and you have been watching a dire situation.